Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make this video today, so if you are interested in what I am gonna talk about, you can go ahead and order it and get this tradition going with your family this year. I know a lot of parents who do the whole elf on the shelf thing, and we used to have an elf on the shelf. We never used it. I bought the book and bought the little elf, and our boys were too little. They totally didn't get it. And so I ended up not using it and I sold it. And I started looking for Elf on the Shelf alternatives because I really wanted to do something fun like Elf on the Shelf, but also we don't really do Santa. We do pictures with Santa, but you know, we don't talk about how Santa brings presents and stuff like that. And I know that's kind of a touchy issue with people, but we've chosen not to do that. And I know it seems like more and more every year there's more focus on the um, kind of consumer side of Christmas and it's easy to get the focus off of baby Jesus. It was something really important to us to keep the nativity, keep baby Jesus, keep that whole story the center of the season. And so I looked on Pinterest, I looked and looked and looked and found this thing called the Wandering Wise Men or the Wise Men Adventures. And if you want to learn more about this and get more ideas and stuff, definitely go to Pinterest and just type in Wandering Wise Men and you'll get a lot. But basically what you do, instead of hiding an elf every night uh, in a different location doing a different naughty thing, <laughs> you can take these wise men and put them all over your home, basically showing from December 1st until Christmas how these wise men are looking all over for baby Jesus. But how we do it, the wise men search all over the home for baby Jesus and on Christmas morning, we put them in our little nativity set. So it's like, we always know that, that they're gonna find baby Jesus, but just the creative things that they do to find baby Jesus are really, really fun for us. And if you find yourself really annoyed with having to do something every single night, you know, keeping up with it, this may not be for you. But if it's something that you could look forward to doing for you and your kids, something you can enjoy, I say totally go for it. The, the set that we have is actually from Amazon and I can leave some links below where you can find uh, the various packages of Little Wise Men, but we got the Playmobil and they're really nice and it was a bit expensive. It was like $30, I wanna say. And um, so you obviously don't have to go that route. Uh, any sort of Wiseman figurines that you can find, go ahead and use those, it doesn't really matter. The Playmobil ones came with the even the presents, like the presents for baby Jesus, the gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, but we took those off because they were, I was having a hard time tying them on and they were falling and it was just it was just a mess. So we just have the three wise men. And I can insert some pictures of various things that we have done. I got a lot of ideas from Pinterest and I cracked myself up placing these every night. It, I think it's really fun. Some people may find it really annoying, but I think it's really fun. Now, this will be our fourth year of doing it and Caleb is six. So we obviously started when they were very young and I think Brayden will get it this year. He didn't really care about it last year, but Caleb especially, um, when we do the Wise Men Adventures or the Wandering Wise Men, um, he gets really excited. Where are the Wise Men today? Let's go find them. And, and really up to this point also, we've had to keep things kind of counter level or up because you don't mess with the wise men. You leave them there all day. There have been times when I've had to clean up <laughs> a mess from where I, I put them and that's just, that's just life because life isn't gonna stop for the wise men. But um, yeah, so I just thought I would real quickly come on and talk to you about this idea that we've been doing for several years and how it's been so much fun. And I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm not gonna be able to reuse ideas from years before because they're gonna remember. We're also getting out of that phase when we can spell in front of the kids, but you know, whatever. So it's not too late for you to go ahead and order your Wiseman if you don't have any, and they'll have plenty of time to get there by the time you want to start Advent. Now you don't have to start it on December 1st and go to December 25th. If you want to start it on December 10th or December 20th, 
it doesn't matter. But if you do The Wandering Wise Men, please, oh please, please, please tag me in your pictures, like if you don't on Instagram, and be sure to tag me on Instagram. I am at Real Housewife Rachel, and you want to use the hashtag Wandering Wise Men and or Wise Men Adventures. So like the Advent is in all caps Wise Men Adventures, because I would love to see what you're doing and. Feel free to copy what I do because I'll be posting on Instagram how I'm leaving the wise men every day. And feel free to copy what I'm doing because if you have an idea that I haven't thought of, I'll totally steal yours if you don't mind. But I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you were new here. So let me know in the comment section, what do you do to kind of keep the, the true meaning of Christmas alive in your family, especially with little kids? Leave that in the comment section below. Maybe give some other people some ideas. I hope you're having a wonderful day and Merry Christmas. Bye.